Francis of Assisi is somebody I've studied for more than 40 years and written books about. But as Francis himself says, study isn't of very much value unless it makes you a better person. Can I live more like him given who I am, where I live, with my education, uh, my nice house in upstate New York and all the rest? And so what I've learned and experienced as I've traveled around the world is that a lot of children that you might want to stay away from, they're beggars on the streets in several cases, or they have some obvious physical disability, or they have even perhaps an open sore or some obvious disease. I've, I've learned that, that Francis was right, that when you hug somebody that to the world sometimes may look repulsive, in fact, you're hugging a brother and a sister and that's a sweet thing to do, not a bitter thing to do. That's the language Francis used, to turn the bitter and recognize it as really sweet. And I had this experience with a boy of about 12 who was a glue sniffer from a slum in Nairobi. And I just held him and talked to him and I kept saying, glue, no, school, yes. And I know he didn't understand me, but hopefully he's, he heard in my voice some concern for him. He felt with my hug a, a kind of affection for him and maybe that's a way that I can help him. Maybe that's all I can do. I can't force him to go back to school or go to school for the first time for that matter. I don't know which, but what I can do is sort of show respect and warmth and affection and give that child some dignity. And maybe in some very tiny way, that will be a piece of something that will lead that child away from that damn glue bottle and into a classroom.